It's a serene summer day on the St. Croix River in southeastern Maine. And you could say we're doing more catching than fishing today. That's how plentiful the fish are here on the river that forms the border between the United States and Canada. We're taking a few days away at Weatherby's Fishing and Hunting Lodge in Grand Lake Stream, Maine. And with us is Sid Elner, a Korean War bomber pilot who today flies a Cessna 172RG out of White Plains, New York. Elner brought his daughter and her husband, and the family came along with Peter Blake, a longtime friend in his Cessna 182RG. Weatherby's is an ideal destination for pilots. Princeton, Maine Municipal Airport, it's about 20 minutes away and an easy pickup from the lodge. Elner and Blake and their families have been making the trip for decades. Basically, there's a tranquility when you're on the lake or when you're on the river. It's just a camaraderie of being with friends, being in the open air, and uh, enjoying y y your, your time. And that tranquility, along with the fishing, is what keeps people coming back to Weatherby's year after year. The tradition uh, carried on, and the families would bring their kids and their grandkids, and you know, over the years, multiple generations would come back. and. And today we still see uh, parties with multiple generations that come that have been coming for 50 or more years. The facility started out as a tannery in the late 1800s. Within a couple of decades, the tannery closed, but the owner's house survived on as a boarding house for sportsmen. Later, numerous rustic cabins were added around the property, which is pretty much how it sits today. Prices vary by season, but are typically around $200 a night per adult for the American plan, which includes lodging, meals, and fishing equipment. And speaking of fishing, there's an abundance here. The hatchery is primarily a salmon hatchery, but later in the summer, it's smallmouth bass, which is a lot more action than the salmon fishing, and we kind of like the action, even though, you know, a lot of them are small fish, but you occasionally get the nice 20-inch fish, and it's a lot of fun. And once you catch the fish, it doesn't take long before you get to enjoy them. By noon on our Saturday outing, we were beached on a remote crook by the river. Where seemingly out of nowhere, the guides pulled out everything needed for a gourmet lunch over an open fire. Fried potatoes, camp coffee, breaded and fried fish, thick steaks, and fresh cookies stuffed us all. Whether you're into fishing or hunting or not at all, whether bees and the surrounding lakes, streams, and woods is worth a visit. It's like a step back to simpler times, a place where the only thing new are the memories you make on each trip. Tom Haynes, AOPA Live.